Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Not My Garage. Um, this is my friend's garage. He's got this uh, Kawasaki ER5 and he's been having a few problems with it. Sorry about the darkness because unfortunately we're losing a bit of light here. If I stand out here, it's not quite so bad. So there's the bike over there. It's a ER5 from 98, I believe. And we had it running just now. It's been having quite a few problems with, with the keeping it going. Uh, he's stripped down the carburetors and stuff and he's put it back together again. He's had problems with the coolant system um, and we're really not sure what is wrong with this bike. Anywho, I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you what he's thinking of doing and what I'm thinking of helping him with. Okay, so yeah, this is the bike. Uh, this this bike, I went to go and help him uh, buy it because uh, this is a quite a few years ago. We drove up to Somerset somewhere. Anyway, what we came, what I'm looking at, I'll turn the torch on so you guys can see. This is the head of the original engine. Now the the lump is there, but this is the head. Now the issue we have is in here this is the one of the valves so if i flip the engine over i'll show you the valve you can see there that it is stuck open and the, the valve itself the stem is bent so the problem is this is the only g clamp he had to possibly squeeze down the springs to get the collets out and then try and get the stem out so what we're going to do we're going to take this head down to my garage because I've got one of these that's bigger. So hopefully we can, you know, get this sorted out and help him along his way. Um, one thing which I don't know if he took, did he take his key with him? Yeah, he did. Um, when we fire the bike up, both of these light, these red lights come on. So you've got the oil pressure and the ignition. We had it running. Uh, it's still nice and warm. Um, it took ages to get it going. And what I did is I brought a can of um, PMA carb cleaner with me. So we took off the seat. We took off this panel. And in here, you've got the air intake. God knows why it's there, because it's a faff to get to. Um, and the, the clips on the bottom of these panels like breaking. So we might, we got this off after he's, he's repaired this in the past. But we got it off, sprayed some inside it, carried on trying to start it. And the... The, the engine started to fail, the, the, the power started to fail as if there wasn't enough power in it. So left it for a little while, started again, and then you could feel it. You could feel it building and chugging. So when it finally did run, there was a lot of heat and a lot of steam coming off of it because he'd sprayed up a lot of components under here. And a lot of steam and smoke was coming off of the, the lower exhaust pipe down there. We can see where it's gone white down there, look. Um... And all of a sudden we stood next to the bike and it just locked up immediately, just stopped dead. And I have had a horrible feeling that something has gone catastrophically wrong with this engine. But yeah, uh, we're going to see what we can do with regards to this head because I'm pretty sure we can get a valve stem for this. Anyway, you'll join us in the next, you'll join me in the next part of the film. All right. It's, uh, it's that valve there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, so, the, I'm the queen, man. <laughs> um, so what we need to do, obviously, is is try and see if this will fit. Yeah, um, yeah. But like I was saying just now, one of these, I think, is in my shed. And I think it is the blue one. I could have made a mistake. The blue one is in your shed, then. Yeah, and I've had them for a very long time. Yeah, so yeah. if we try and hold it up. Yeah, well, you do need two or three hands, I should say. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be. Because I don't oh, know. I've never, I've never done You should before. use a block to prevent scratching the head. Right, okay. Because so I've never done this before, so I'm learning, you, and I'm yeah. sure the people who are watching are going to find this relatively yeah. interesting. Right, of course. The other thing is you've got to screw that one all the way back first yeah. to make sure you got the movement you need when screwing it to get the... You should have enough room for the valve stem to move, but right now pull that back. 
See, it's just to get it, it opens, over. It opens look, a lot, see, doesn't it? See, this is what I'm thinking. Look, see, oh, there's see where your you problem mean. is. Yeah. You've got to get on to that. Yeah. So I thought to myself, well, the only other way so the would other, be if you had an angle on it. I think it, the blue one I've got, I think, see, does you, have that, I look, think. if you had the angle on it, yeah, you, could you get might better do it like push that wood a bit further forward a bit. Oh, I see what you mean. Trying mm -hmm. to use the the wood as a, a lev leverage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So get the wood a bit further forward to get to get that angle. Maybe. Oh, we've got to, still haven't pulled it back far enough. Right. Right. Now you've got to bring it forward. Yeah. See, right. your, yours yours is too small for even this. No, you got an angle on the on on the little uh, bracket thing here. Right now, what am I going to do now? See, as you're tightening, I can feel the wood moving as you're tightening. Right, but what we see, the thing is, we don't want no, to we put don't. pressure onto exactly. the casing, which is what it seems. Oh. Can I do yeah, anything yeah. at all with this? I know this is very unprofessional filming, yeah. everyone. Look, will it actually bring the collets where they should be? Can anyone see that collet right in the centre there? Look. Oh, it's doing something. Is it pushing it down? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I can't see it touching the aluminium casing just yet. No, that's what I'm a bit concerned about. Yeah, I can't see it touching. Because that's where your bearing goes um, there. I think that, that butterfly there. Oh, no, is in the way? Almost. It's not. It's still loose at the moment, mm. but it's not. It could almost do the job, you know, this. Almost. Um, I can see it's pushing, it's oh. pushing down, it's pushing down that one as well. Cause I can see the gap. Oh, well, There's a gap is... appearing between the collets <laughs> and the spring. This one is, yeah, it's not quite oh, doing it. I can't it. get much more movement. No, I think. But is it? <coughs> if I can find. Slackened at all? Oh, let's no, look at the... maybe not. I can't even look at the other side. Because you know what might happen? Because I've got the word over the valve, I might stop the valve from c coming out, which means I um, can't suppress the spring. Well, that no, that that's a good thing because then then yeah, the, but, the other the 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 stem oh, yeah, won't no, move. Yeah, then. You're, oh yeah, yeah, what am I thinking? Of course yeah, it will. Of the stem won't will. move, so that means you're compressing just this side. You don't have to worry about side. that, do you? But, but I do what think, I need though, to do, and let's get a better angle because yeah, I can't twist it anymore. I do think though, if we put a socket on there, that actually might help. Right, okay, so I've actually found a torch and I found my tripod for my phone. Hopefully it's going to stay where it is. So what, we've, what, we've going to, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and use a couple of these tools because, um, yeah. where is it? Where's the other one we were using? That one, that one. Uh, the spark plug thing we were using is way too long. So this, yeah. what happens is this can't compress down enough. So when, you, when you've got it past that point there, then this can thread through. If it's past that point, like there, when you do this up, it's just going to push this handle back out again. So what we need is a, t a socket that can go in here, then match to the top of this val uh, spring. What's that one like? Are they 3.8 or half inch? That's half, eight. that's 3.8. That's half, that's 3.8. Yeah, but we want the 3.8, we want the half inch hole for the sockets because it's bigger for the, the uh, collets oh, the collet, to come out. The collets will fall out. They'll probably fall out inside the socket. You reckon they will? Oh, I would have said so. All right, let's see if that fits. Yep, that certainly fits in there quite nicely. Okay, so let's, let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, that's why I was thinking. Yes, Did everyone, you know we're doing this in the dark. I reckon that would do it anyway, so... I think so. It's either that or use a smaller socket like that. It's a larger opening. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Hang on. That, we'll it see. might do, you know. might be better. Well, it could be longer. Actually, we could use a longer socket. Yeah, that. Yeah, that is we'll, slightly longer. We'll try a longer socket. And it's the half inch as well. Instead we'll of try it. it. We've, got to, we've got to have that half cup inch. on there like that. Yeah. Right, so how far can you go with that? How far can you go? Can you how far see? Can you go? You got the light that side, but have you got the light? The I haven't other got side? any light on this side, I'm going no. by feel. <laughs> you, going you, by feel. You do need. This is a, 
Um, this side we need a longer socket, I think. Yeah, as you can see, everyone, this uh, the valve is on this side. You can see it's sticking out. Well, I think you can see it's sticking out. Oh, hang on a second. I am um, slightly obscure. I've never done this. Wow. <laughs> it's rather... Oh, well, watch. You're, you're sliding yeah, I'm off the Yeah, I'm trying to watch my Yeah, no, well. it's, it's the most trickiest thing ever. Oh, yeah, you can't have your eyes on both sides of it yeah. at the same time. It is quite a tricky thing. <laughs> okay, so... Have you got pressure? I believe I have. Or at least enough to hold it at the moment. I believe I have. Right. Uh, let's bring the Ooh. camera around. So... You can see on that side, there, we've got the socket in there. <coughs> my, my joints are clicking. Oh, I might do that. Let's uh, put that talk back up on the roof of the Yeah, I don't need it now. Uh, sorry everyone, this is so raw footage, I don't, it's ridiculous. Is it compressing on that side? Can you feel it? I believe so. Could really have done with some... Oh, there we go. Now something's happened there. Let's have a look in the end. Did uh, I stop. push the valve in all the way? I'm wondering if I've just pushed oh. that valve in. Hang on. I think I can see one of the collets. Oh, can you? Possibly down through the centre of the thingy bob. Can, thing with, is, the, with your screwdriver, can you get it through there? Yeah, the collets have come out. They're inside the socket. I can see them. Both of them? Well, I can see one of them. Oh, right, Hang on, let me see if I can get it out. That's what I was wondering. There we go, both of them. Oh, you got them both out? Got them both out. Oh, and that's that both collets. So what we're going to do... Slacken this off. Is slowly it. slacken it off. <laughs> I knew it'd work. I had a feeling I heard it worked. The click. Yeah. It made me think that maybe the valve had got into place. So what we need to do is we need to put these in these two into a little when we get these bits out, we need to put them into a little plastic bag so yeah, they don't get lost. Yeah, they'll get lost very easy, yeah. They will. But of course, getting that out is the isn't so bad as re actually replacing the new, the other one. True. Okay, so we've got there's the socket, oh. then we've got the spring and its cover. There's, there's a it. spring inside. Look at that. There's a spring inside. Yeah. Um, so we've got those two. We've got the two little collets. And then we've got the valve stem. It's ah. the valve and stem itself. We need to tap it out because the is valve it? itself is bent. Yes, it is. And it looks so like there's something else on there as well. Of, it's a seal, isn't it? I would say so. Yeah, it's you've got a valve stem a seal valve inside. Stem seal, I would yeah. say there's a valve stem seal inside there. Yeah. It's like a uh yeah, you've got like a washer in there and everything, but right. so if um, we had a block of wood on there and a mallet so that we can t although it doesn't matter really, it's just just buying yeah, that doesn't through. Matter. No, as long as you we're gonna replace out. that one, aren't we? Yeah. So right, okay, so just need a hammer right, let's put the to, uh, tripod back to tap up. it back. Right. Hang on, no, this is very I'll put that everyone. in your box. Thank you. Okay, so we right. need we need to Hammer. put something. Hang on. Is it yeah. actually going to go out? We got. We yeah, got give it a try. Oh, that sounds like progress. That sounds good. <laughs> go on, flip, oh, yeah. him, flip him over. Let's see what we what we've got on the other side. Maybe. Oh, look at that. There we go. So what we need now is just bridge. something to... You could have a... You mustn't damage the no, head, obviously. No, this must be something we can grab hold of and just pull yeah. it out. Maybe if you use a piece of wood and oh, use the claw hammer... Yeah, leverage it out. Use the claw hammer to leave on it there. Oh, that's a good idea. As long as it don't... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's come out really easy, it. actually. You've done it. Oh, yeah. my God. Look at the bend on that. 
Hang on, let's hold it still. It's rather a tweak on yeah, that Yeah, that's window. really <laughs> bent. Wow. Oh, my God. No wonder this engine wouldn't run. Yeah. Well, wow. It, it Look at that. A... Awful. Okay, so let's flip him over, because those other pieces that would may have come out from inside... Would they? Would they Possibly, come out, or are they going to stay I'm there? guessing. I don't know. That looks like a seal. Um, oh, you, you do have a... That is a valve stem seal. There's supposed to be a rubber seal in there. That is rubber, that? right? Right there, you can feel it's rubberized. That is rubber there. Yeah, it? it's oh, rubbery. Okay. But yeah, so that there, I'm sure can be replaced. we can get a replacement of that. But look how much coke mm -hmm. is inside there. Oh, it's uh, coke. That's up quite a, little a bit, bit of coke. It? That's quite a bit of co yeah. uh, coke on there. Yeah, you get yourself a full glass with that. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> is it diet? We're not sure. <laughs> diet coke out of an engine. Yeah. Um, right, so that's a success then. So all we need to do yeah. uh, is we need to whack this back in the car, um, put yeah. that in. Actually, well, we'll, I, um, that we'll have a look rest, online. Yeah. We'll have that's a good idea actually. We'll have a look online. We'll try and get one of these, yeah. and hopefully, we can get another one of these and do the reverse process and show you how we put it all back together again. But that'll be in a future <laughs> video. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, a bit of a, a raw film footage and a bit dark and you know but yeah thank you for watching we'll see you in the next another video bye hello everyone welcome to not my channel not my there uh.